Noah was a six-year-old boy. He had green eyes. He had brown hair. He wore glasses because he had bad eyesight. He would start school in a year. He had no siblings. He lived with his parents and grandparents. Noah was a very curious boy. He asked many questions to his mother, father, and especially to his grandfather. His grandfather was always telling Noah that he was going to be a great scientist in the future. Noah loved his grandfather very much. Their house had a big garden. Noah played in the garden all day. He loved plants very much. He was always observing them. He loved to dig in the soil with his blue-handled spade. He was digging and trying to explore. One day, while he was digging the soil again, he started asking questions to his grandfather. His grandfather was sitting in a chair in a corner of the garden, reading his newspaper. Every now and then he looked at Noah and smiled. Grandpa, how do plants grow? Asked Noah. Plants need water and sun. That's how plants grow, said his grandfather. Noah was surprised. Is that all? His grandfather answered. And they all have seeds. The seeds are small. You plant them, water them, and they grow. Noah also loved digging in the ground and finding things. Every day when he went out into the garden he thought, What will I find today? Last week he found an old button while digging in the garden. His father told him that it might have belonged to his grandfather's old jacket. This thought excited Noah even more. One day Noah was digging again. His shovel caught on something. He opened the earth with his hands. There was an old, rusted box in front of him. He was very excited. He took it out and ran to his grandfather. Grandpa, look what I found. Grandpa put down the newspaper and looked at the box in his grandson's hand. Wow, Noah, this is a very old box. Let's open it together and see what's inside. Together they tried to open the rusty lock around the box. Finally the lock opened. Inside were yellowed photographs, some letters, and a small pocket watch. Grandfather took the photographs and examined them carefully. His eyes filled with tears. Noah, these photos are of me when I was young. I can't believe you found this. I lost this box years ago. Look, I am the young man in this photo. There was a young woman with him. Who is that, Grandpa? Asked Noah curiously. That's your grandmother. She was a very beautiful woman. Noah realized that his grandfather was touched. He had never met his grandmother. 
His grandfather had told Noah a lot about her. Then this box is like a treasure, Noah said. A treasure of your past. Grandpa smiled and hugged Noah. Yes, it is, Noah. And I am very happy that you found this treasure. One day at breakfast, Noah suddenly asked his grandfather a question. Grandpa, shall we plant a tree together? Grandpa answered, of course. When I go out, I will buy a sapling and we will plant it. Noah immediately asked his grandfather what a sapling was. A sapling is the smallest form of a tree, said his grandfather. A few days passed and the sapling was bought. Noah ran to the garden and called his grandfather. Grandpa, come on, let's plant the sapling. Grandpa took the sapling and came to the garden. They took the sapling out of the pot. They dug a little soil and planted the sapling. Now we need to water it, his grandfather said to Noah. They poured the water, poured some more soil over it and finished planting it. The next day, as soon as Noah woke up, he ran to the garden and looked at the sapling. He saw that the sapling had not grown at all. He thought it would immediately become a tree. This went on for a few days, and the sapling was not growing at all. Noah started to get angry. He kept saying to himself, Why isn't it growing? Nearly a week passed, but the sapling still hadn't grown. One morning Noah ripped the sapling out of the ground without telling anyone. He tore the sapling to pieces. While he was doing this, his grandfather came and got angry with Noah and asked him why he had done such a thing. Noah replied that it was not growing at all, so I tore it to pieces. Grandpa said that the sapling needed time. You had to wait a while for the sapling to become a tree. Noah replied that he didn't want to. Grandpa was silent for a moment and thought of a solution to make Noah understand. Noah's favorite thing for dinner would be French fries. Grandpa told his daughter not to make French fries tonight. I know something. I have to teach Noah a lesson. And she agreed. Evening came. Dinner was prepared. At dinner, Noah's eyes searched for the French fries. But he couldn't see it. Suddenly he began to complain, why didn't you make fries? His grandfather answered immediately. Potatoes grow in the ground, Noah. A boy about your age pulled the potatoes out of the ground before they grew and smashed them. That's why the potatoes couldn't grow. They need time to grow like seedlings, Noah. Noah was surprised by this. Then Noah looked for orange juice. Noah liked orange juice very much. He drank it morning and evening. When he didn't see it on the table, he started complaining again. There are no french fries, so why is there no orange juice? 
His grandfather immediately gave the same answer he had given about potatoes. Oranges grow on trees, Noah. They need time too. Another boy around your age plucked and smashed oranges before they grew. That's why the orange didn't grow. That's why you can't drink orange juice, Noah. Noah finally understood what his grandfather meant. Plants need time. They also need some water and sunshine, he told his grandfather. Grandpa was happy to hear that. The next day, they went and bought another sapling. They planted it in the garden. They watered it and covered it with soil. Every day Noah went and watered the sapling. Two years had passed and Noah was going to school. The tree had grown a lot in two years. Two years ago, Noah had learned the most important lesson of his life from his grandfather. Some happiness needed time. There was no need to rush. There was a certain order and time for everything.